Hello everybody, I'm Pastor Andy. And I'm Kanesh. You are watching X Teens Chat. Today we spoke about porn. When it comes to porn, it is so accessible, so many variety, so many choices. It makes us feel as though we are having control. But could it be that we are the ones being controlled? Someone out there is telling us what to do, how to behave. Now, if you don't believe us, watch what Sandesh, a former porn addict, has to say. So the rat experiment. What what they did with the hat that they put on the, the, the rat is they stimulated the dopamine system to start filling the tank with dopamine. Okay? And the only way to release the, the, the reward is for the rat to go and push a lever okay so of course they trained the rat to do that etc etc then they ran the experiment so they put the hat on the rat and the rat went and the rat pushed the lever it kept releasing and releasing and releasing okay so the tank filled up the rat pushed the lever again release so the rat kept pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing the rat went on for about seven days and 14 hours before the rat died seven days and 14 hours now <laughs> They purposely chose a. They purposely chose like a rat with a family lah. So the rat had, uh, the rat had a wife. The rat had, a, the, you know, I don't know whether rats can get married or not lah. The rat had a <laughs> mate, and the rat, the rat had two kids. Okay, two pups as they call it. Okay, so more or less, they put they put them all in the same cage. Yeah, they put them all in the same cage, and. Uh, uh the the male rat you know they're supposed to go and find food la take care la you just be with them the rat basically put everything down and went to push the lever push the lever push the lever okay then they escalated the experiment they put an electrical wire in between the rat and the lever the rat still went willing to go through all the electricity just to go and touch the lever so then after that they turn off the lever. They put food in the cage. The rat refused to go for the food. Why? Because the food is no longer as stimulating as the lever. Mm. Right? So this is the other phenomenon. This is called the Coolidge effect. The Coolidge effect is loss of interest in other stimulate uh, other stimulating activities. Mm. So porn is a porn is something that is classified as a super stimuli. Right, uh, high calorie foods are also classified as super stimuli. Super stimuli are, uh, by the way, social media as well. Social media is also classified as super stimuli. I'll explain why in a second. Mm. Super stimuli is something that overrides everything that you are supposed to be doing. Right, and you go after the urge. So, for example. The reason why I did not finish college is because I was addicted to a super stimuli. I kept going after it, going after it, going after it, and I put down all of my other priorities. Why? Because they were not stimulating. They did not generate enough of a reward mm. in my brain, in my reward circuit, to go after the reward. So therefore, I was incapable of doing anything else except that. That is how the addiction works. That is how super stimuli works. Okay? So... I, I understand that this can be scary to some people right now. You, you're probably realizing, oh my gosh, I've got a social media addiction or I've got a uh, high calorie food addiction. I've got a, uh, I've got a, I've got a porn addiction, etc. Oh my gosh, how the heck do I overcome it? <laughs> Whoa, that was super enlightening. Very good information. But you know what? If you want to find out how to overcome this habit, how to break this addiction, watch the full episode and the link can be found in our description. Click on that and watch the full thing. That's right. If you like our content, remember to give us a like, subscribe, comment, and also share to help a friend. Follow us on all social platforms on X Teams, and I will see you guys next time. Yeah.